There was a time, a time before cable, when the local civil engineer reigned supreme, when people believed everything they heard on television. This was an age when only men were allowed to read the news. And in Sacramento, one civil engineer was more man than the rest. His name was Ron Burgundy. He was like a god walking amongst mere mortals. He had a voice that could make a wolverine purr, and suits so fine they made Matsumoto look like a hobo. In other words, Ron Burgundy was the balls. Uh, where's my scotch? Good thing I didn't wear pants today. You ready to roll this? What's going on? What's going on, team? Good evening, Sacramento. I'm Ron Burgundy. When the clock struck 1.30, it meant only one thing for Ron Burgundy and his news team. Go time. Where's that scotch? <laughs> Roger! What are you looking at? Yeah, you. Someone fire this man. Channel One News, with five-time professional engineer and award-winning anchor, Ron Burgundy. Veronica Corningstone. Champ Kind, Sports. Brick Tamland, Weather. And your reporter in the field, Brian Fantana. It's Channel One News at 1.30. In local news today, Guy Westbridge is still standing. And local squirrels, still terrifying. And over at Mendocino Hall, there really wasn't a fire. Now, on to sports with Jim Hines. In sports news, the Hornets got killed by Davis again. You could say they got T-boned. Whammy! For our top story today, in a local CE 113 class, a blue lamb beam competition will be held featuring Students in groups one. Cut. All right. Good show. Good show. Everyone in the front, nice hustle. Nice so I like to see. Okay. Lighting was good. I liked it. Brick? No. I'm Ron. You're, you're Brick. I'm Brick. You're Brick. That's your name. Ron, what's yes. a glue lamb beam? Well, a glue lamb beam is a Civil War era ship used to transport kitties from Zanzibar to uh, Middle Asia. Actually, isn't it a timber product composed of several different uh, layers bonded together with durable adhesive? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Not even close. Ha ha ha, silly women. He made it. So cute. Oh, so no, I'm pretty sure that's what that's it is. Right no, no, I, I, I agree to disagree on that. <laughs> and so then he said to me, Oh, that's what I've been doing wrong all this time. <laughs> that's how I cure cancer. So, you are that. the man. Yeah. Oh, hey guys! Hey, Veronica. Hey. Hi, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm planning on participating in the Glue Lamb Beam competition. Is that right? Yes, yeah, it's my actually my dream to be a civil engineer, so... This lady doesn't even know what a Glue Lamb is. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> oh man, those poor kitties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what, uh, I accept your challenge. I'm also going to be participating in the Beam competition and, uh, let the men do the actual work here. I know I put my scotch around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Old Johnny Walker. Ron, how could you do this to me? I told you that I wanted to be a civil engineer. I thought you were kidding. I wrote it down in my diary. I laughed about it. I showed it to Baxter. What do you want? You've broken my heart, Mr. Burgundy. You have broken my heart. Oh, Johnny, I need you now. All right, gentlemen. We need wood, and it's for a blue lamb. So we need, need blue. We need yes. We need lambs. Lambs. Find it. It should be here somewhere. Let's go. Ron, is this a blue lamb bean? Lamb. Is this it? <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I love scotch. Scotchy, scotch, scotch. Mmm. Gets the flavor of the mustache. That's good. Hey, Rob! Is this the good lamp? Oh, good 
moving raven. No, no, and no. Actually, gentlemen, it's way easier than we thought. I went down the street to get some more scotch, and uh, we just went to Home Depot, and I got a bunch of wood, so we're good to go. So, Ron, how do we build a blue light beam? Well, it's kind of like Gonna find my glue, gonna hold it tight, gonna make some glue and beams tonight. My model's always been when the clamps are tight, gonna watch my glue and dry tonight. And we're gonna sand it in the light of day. And Saturday, watch it break another day. Doing all this work so my appetite, looking forward to eating a burrito tonight. Taking it off these clamps and sanding it right, making sure the glue and beam's done right. Sky rockets in flight. Woo! Glue and beam delight. See, you guys are getting the hang of it. Glue and beam delight. Ron, I still don't believe we have it. Glue and beam delight. Ron and his team put together a great specimen. Come on, show it. Hold it. But the glue lamp beam soon started to experience slipping. Don't break! Don't Come on. break! Come on! Hold it. Slipping, coupled with sheer stress, caused the beam to fail. No break! No, no, no! Don't do that! Don't do that! Oh. Come on! Don't act like you're not impressed. That was pretty amazing. That was pretty good, Ron. Pretty good. You got a good visual of our wood in action. So, you're welcome. Veronica was impressed by Ron's beam's performance. However, she had a few tricks up her sleeve. Come on, beam, come on. Silly boys, they put their knots all in the center of the beam. Come on, Beam! Come on! You can do it! Let's go! Veronica's Beam also experienced some unexpected slipping. No, no, no. Get back here! Get back here! No! No! <laughs> but because of her knot placement and other factors, her Beam was able to withstand a higher load than Ron's. What are you guys doing? It's civil engineering, man! Not civil engineering, lady! Pull yourselves together. As a result of the beam test that was performed this week, we've come to conclude that knots are bad. And you must always account for slipping and sheer failure. <laughs>